Well, hey there, everybody. Good morning. This is Joe, and I'm at the Golden Pride. Uh, it's actually a fried chicken place, but they do some really good breakfast burritos. And uh, this is always a good little snack that we get on, when we're on the way out to some day trip. And I'm going to go out to the Ojito Wilderness. Yeah, so I have uh, a couple of reasons why I want to go out to the Ojito. Um, so it's, first of all, a nice day trip. You go 20 miles north of Albuquerque to the town of Bernalillo and then you go out on Highway 550 northwest about another 20 miles and you turn off the highway on Cabazon Road and it goes out to BLM, Bureau of Land Management, Public Lands, the Ojito Wilderness and it's very dry, desolate and kind of very beautiful at the same time but I want to do just a little bit of video out there, some b-roll footage that I've thought about for a long time a kind of typewriter themed footage so anyways come along well we have a tank full of gas I got some water bottles and I have a golden pride breakfast burrito I've always liked this uh, landmark out on highway 550 toward where we're gonna turn off at this is a uh, an old gas station right adjacent to the entrance across the highway to Zia Pueblo. Zia Pueblo is one of the indigenous uh, communities in New Mexico that predates the European uh, settlers by many, many hundreds of years. And their uh, sun symbol is where New Mexico gets its uh, New Mexico state flag symbol from the Zia Pueblo, the Zia symbol. But, uh, we're out here on Highway 550 at the Big Chief gas station that's now closed up. Every time I drive out here on Highway 550, I always like to stop in at this place and I, I always like taking pictures of the big Indian Chief sign and just this place reminds me of the old Route 66 gas stations that used to be around and that are now torn down and you know just the, the changing economy uh, this was when it was highway when it was highway 44 this was probably a pretty uh, popular gas station one of the few stations out here uh, before the communities grew up but uh, yeah it's a lot of I just like the emptiness and the abandonment of it kind of uh, reminds me of the passage of time And there is the Hemez Mountains in the distance. And here we are, turning off on Cabazon Road. You go to the right, that's the strip mine up on White Mesa, and you go to the left, and it is the Ojito Wilderness. Well, I've always wanted to come out here uh, to the Ojito and do this scene of the typewriter on a tray table with a folding chair out in the wilderness, kind of a medium to wide shot, and uh, me walking into the frame and sitting down at the typewriter and typing. And it's really not really about anything. I think it's like a b-roll thing that you could use in a lot of different kinds of uh, scenes maybe or I could use it as an intro to other typewriter videos about typing outdoors but I just thought it was an interesting uh, setting I wanted to try it and uh, so uh, I came out here I've it's been probably close to I don't know maybe a decade at least five or seven years since I've been out here before but the road is pretty much as I remember it I didn't make any wrong turns
Well, it's getting to be close to noon, and I figure it's about time to head back. It's just going to get windier today, and there's supposed to be some kind of storm blowing in later in the day. But anyways, we had a good time out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, I got a, some B-roll footage shot. Got a little walking around. And, of course, as always, you guys have yourselves a great day.